And it's not a coincidence, it's actually a God incident because the ninth month is actually the month of fruitfulness. Somebody say the month of fruitfulness. Because after nine months, even if somebody is pregnant, they will deliver. Amen. Amen. Somebody is going to deliver in September. Hallelujah. Amen. Your dream will come alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout, it's harvest time. It's harvest time. Somebody shout, it's harvest time. it's harvest time. Somebody is saying, really? Yes. So let's read that text. John chapter 4 from verse 34 to 38. Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his curse. Look at verse 35. Do you not say there are still yet four months and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the field. For they are already white for harvest. Somebody say it's harvest time. time. Somebody say it's harvest time. time. Verse 36. Move on further. And he who reaps, receives wages. Somebody say my salary is coming. (laughs) And gathers fruit. I told you it's the month of fruitfulness. For eternal life. That both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. Verse 37, for in this, the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. Verse 38, I sent you to reap. Somebody say, I'm a reaper. reaper. And you need that. You know, many people, they know how to sow, sow, sow. They don't know how to reap. Somebody say, I am a a reaper. I sent you to reap that which you have not labored for. Somebody say, no more labor. Others have labored. Somebody say, others have labored. And you have entered into their labors. Amen. Amen. So what you are not qualified for will be given to you this new month. Look at verse 39. And I want us to read it together. Verse 39, we're going to read it like choir. Mass choir, we'll read it together. Verse 39, media, we're waiting. Want to go. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of that woman which testified. He told me all that ever I did. Amen. Somebody say it's harvest time. Somebody say it's harvest time. You see, God will always reserve a time in any year for harvest. And it has pleased him to reserve the ninth month this year for our harvest as the redeemed Christian Church of God, Auckland. And I know your portion will not be missing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's harvest time. You see, John chapter 4 is a book that is loaded with a lot of surprises. (laughs) The first surprise is there was that Jesus told the disciples that he was hungry, and then he sent them to go and buy food for him. By the time they came back, they saw him that he was talking to a lady. That was strange. Jesus, what's happening? You are a preacher. You are always with your 12 guys, 12 disciples. Why are you talking to this woman? Now, this woman she was talking to came to take water from the well by herself at the time when nobody will be there because she has been injured, she has been wounded. Everybody knows her to have been through five husbands and was in the house of the 61 that is not even her husband. And then to see Jesus talking to that woman, somebody said, that's a surprise. This month, somebody said, I'm getting ready for a surprise harvest. Therefore, receive your surprise harvest in the name of Jesus. It will come suddenly. Somebody said it will come suddenly. So it was a lot of surprise in that book. And then another surprise there was that normally it is men that go out to go and preach. But this woman at the well, by the time Jesus told her everything that she did, she was surprised. And she went into the whole city talking to all the men that have been his 
patronizers or his cost or our customers and saying, come and see a man that told me everything I did. Can this not be the Christ? And they all came, troop out to Christ. Amen. <laughs> so when they came to Christ, it was also a surprise. And so when Jesus saw lots of people coming to him by this woman, huh, Jesus now looked at the disciples in verse 35. Why are you people saying there is no harvest? We are already in harvest. If a woman can go out and bring all this number of people, I think we are in harvest time. Somebody say it's harvest time. Somebody say it's harvest time. And I want us to read that verse 35 again. Let's read it. One, two, go. Do you not say there are still four months and then come the harvest? You may be saying, we have four months to go and then it will be Christmas and then I will start getting gifts. Somebody say, Christmas is now. Jesus is saying it's harvest time already. Somebody say, it's harvest time. He said, behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes. Somebody say, lift up your eyes. And look at the field. Somebody say, look at the field. He said, they are white already for harvest. Amen. Now, the harvest that Christ is talking about here is the harvest of souls. Somebody say, harvest of souls. Christ was telling the disciples to go out and preach to other people. To bring them to him. So what we want to do in the month of September is to preach. We're going to make a lot of tracts available. And we're going to be giving that. And we're going to be telling our neighbor, telling our friends. We're going to be telling them about Christ. Somebody say, it's harvest time. It's harvest time. And Jesus is saying, that is, this is the right time to do it. Invite them to church. Don't leave them alone. Tell them, let's go together. Let's go. God will touch you. God will minister to you. And as you do, God will bless you in the name of Jesus. So the first thing we see in the statement of Christ is that the harvest is ready. Can we say it together? The harvest is ready. Somebody say, it is ready. It's ready. God has prepared the harvest. And if you look at Matthew chapter 9, if you look at Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 and 38. Look at what Jesus said, verse 37. Then he said to his disciples, can we read it together? The harvest truly is what? Can we say it together? The harvest truly is what? But the laborers are what? Woo! You know, sometimes the way we hoard our blessing, hide it from other people, it's as if we don't have enough. Somebody said, there is enough. You can see, the harvest is plentiful. Somebody say, plentiful. plentiful. I love that English. Because plenty itself is big. When you now add full to plenty, it means it's a lot. Somebody say, it's a lot. It's a lot. The harvest is plentiful. There is a lot. We don't need to envy one another. Somebody say, it's enough to go around. The harvest truly is plentiful. But what is the problem? The laborers are. The laborers are. And that's why anytime you want to prosper, you must get ready for hard work. Somebody say hard work. Hard work. <laughs> In Christianity, if you really want to prosper, you want to make it, you must be ready for hard work. Because there is a lot to do. Amen. Jesus is telling us that we have a lot of harvest. A lot of people are ready to be brought into the kingdom of God. Even some of the friends you are thinking that, oh, they belong to other religion. I'm telling you, when you invite them, they will come. Somebody said they will come. They will come. They will come. You are thinking they will come. Jesus said they are ready. They are fed up with the world system. They are tired of all that is going on. Look at the inflation. Look at the trouble all over the world. Look at COVID. People are tired. They want what you have. Somebody said the harvest is plentiful. They need somebody that can talk to them. Look at all that we are going through, even as believers. Some of people look at us. Even they say, but aren't you going through anything? I say, well, we do, but <laughs> it's just not, it's not getting to us. And they want that. They want what you have. The way you shake up trouble. The way you take them away from your mind and you still maintain your joy, maintain your happiness, maintain your calmness. They want that. 
Somebody said the harvest is plentiful. But who are the people that will tell them? It's church folks. It's us. We are the ones to take the word of God to them and invite them. Tell them about Christ. Tell them how you are doing it. Tell them the hope that you have. Why you are able to keep your joy. Amen. Amen. You know, they look at us and they wonder, are they supermen? No, it's Christ. That is the super in our ordinary that make us supermen. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, Christ is my super. He is the super in my ordinary. Somebody say, super ordinary. <laughs> or you can say, extraordinary. Somebody say, extraordinary. The extra to us is Christ. Amen. Amen. And God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The laborers has always been few. Very few people are actually inviting others. You know, if I ask you, from the beginning of the year till now, can you show me who, who, do you, who have you been speaking to or talking to and said, you need to follow me to church. You need to come to Christ. No. Somebody say, I will be a laborer. For Christ. Look at verse 38. So the harvest indeed is plenteous. Now look at verse 38. Therefore. Somebody say, therefore. therefore. Some people say, I can't talk to them. I'm shy. There is no excuse. You can pray. Somebody say, I can pray. There is no excuse for anyone. Even if you cannot talk to them, you don't know what to say. Somebody say, I can pray. And that's what verse 38 is saying. You may not be able to invite them or talk to them, but you can do something else. Somebody say, I can pray. He said, therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into what? Into what we need to do. If we cannot preach, if we cannot invite, then we must be able to pray. Somebody say, I will pray. I will pray. Somebody say, I will pray. I will pray. Pray the Lord of the harvest. Now, the Lord of the harvest is the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, the Holy Ghost. He has the assignment to bring people into the church. We must say, Holy Ghost, send laborers into your vineyard. It's not Christ that is doing it. It's not God now, the Father. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the one in charge of the harvest. Amen. Amen. If you want something big, if you want something extraordinary, somebody say the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. If you want something that is bigger than you, then you have to tell the Holy Ghost. Amen. He is the Lord of the harvest. And I pray for your business. The Holy Ghost will come over you. You know, there was a young lady called Mary. This lady, so poor, ordinary. And then the angel came to her and said, Look, you have found favor with God. And you are going to give birth to our Lord, Christ. Ah, Mary said, Me, I'm ordinary. I can't do it. Yes, we know you cannot do it. He said, then, how will it happen? Oh, he said, the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. Somebody said, the Holy Ghost will overshadow me. I like that. Anytime, look, don't allow anybody to tell you you are small, you are ordinary. Tell them, the Holy Ghost will overshadow me. You are not, maybe you don't know what I'm saying. Somebody said, the Holy Ghost will overshadow me. Anytime the Holy Ghost come upon any man, any woman, no matter how ordinary, how small, they become extraordinary. Amen. Mary became another woman all by that experience. Somebody say, pray the Lord of the harvest. He is the Lord of the harvest. Once he comes upon you, you receive extra power. To do what you are not even qualified for. And people begin to wonder, how is that possible? Somebody said, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. So the harvest 
is ready. Number two, the laborers are few. Somebody said the laborers are few. It is harvest time. The harvest is ready. I've told you that. But the people to bring in the harvest, they are few. You know, when you look at a normal farmer, and they, they go to their farm, they plant their corn, they plant their seed, you think, when the harvest comes, will they just sit back at home and say, the harvest is there, come by yourself? No. They still have to do the same labor as they were planting to get the harvest. Somebody said the same labor. And that's where we miss out. We think that once we have the harvest, we don't have to do anything. Somebody say, no. The work has just started. Amen. The same labor to plant is the same labor to get the harvest. Somebody say, same labor. He said, so we, the labor, it takes labor to reap. Somebody say, it takes labor to harvest. So, to people that are, you know, paying their tithe, paying their offering, giving, you know, you also need labor to receive. Somebody say, it takes labor to receive. Somebody say, I must pray. Mm, men must give to you. I pray for you. Whatever is blocking your harvest by the blood of Jesus, I command them set aside. In the name of Jesus Christ. It takes labor to receive. He said, I send you as reapers. Somebody say reapers. Beginning from today, you will begin to receive. Your receiving hand will no longer be weak. Amen. There are some people, anytime they plant, when it comes to the time they need to harvest, some things will just come and destroy the harvest. That will no longer be you. I said that will no longer be you. I know somebody, anytime they have some breakthrough with money, and they're thinking, oh, thank God for this breakthrough. By the time they look around, there is a problem to solve again. Problem will come. Once the breakthrough comes, problem come with it. I pray for you. Whatever problem that has always been coming to steal your harvest, I command them destroyed in the name of Jesus. There shall no longer be Midianites stealing your harvest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you must labor against what destroys harvest. Amen. I was told a woman was giving a parable. He said there were some people. Anytime they, they sweep, I don't know if you have something like a broom. We have something like a broom to gather, like a brush. Like a brush that we use to clean the house. And then you can, you can gather, you know, when you are cleaning maybe the, the, the corridor, you use the brush to gather all the things together. Then you use the packer to gather it. Am I right? You know, anytime you are sweeping to gather all the doors together, that is like sewing. Amen? Can you imagine when it's time to pack it and somebody now uses leg to do like this? That's not good. Using the leg to scatter what has been packed. That's exactly what happens to some people. When it's time to gather in the harvest, something will just come and scatter it. Somebody say, no more. No more. Somebody say, no more. no more. So I pray for you. Every weakness in your reaping hand, I command them converted to strength. Amen. Somebody say, strength. Amen. It is harvest time. Amen. Somebody say, it is harvest time. The laborers are few. They are few. If you look at it, and this, this labor, particularly with evangelism, the work is not hard anymore. Most of the people you are going to talk to, they are already prepared. Somebody said they are prepared. Some of them, they have the Bible already, but they are not reading. Some of them, they have had a level of the word of God before. Your job is just to, to put it together. Somebody said put it together. That's why he said, I send you to go and reap where you have bestowed no labor. Some people have already done the work. Somebody says some people have already done the work. They've already done the work. They've already done the work. So it's easier for you. I pray for you. God will send you to reap where you have bestowed no labor. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for anyone that will be a laborer in the vineyard of God, Somebody say there is a reward. Reward for laborers. Can we say it together? Reward for laborers. God does not ask us to seek him in vain. No. God is not a user of men. 
God is a blesser. Somebody say, God is a blesser. He blesses men. Let's open our Bible, John 4, 36. He's going to reward you. Somebody say, God will reward me. God, John 4, 36. And we'll read it together. And he who reaps, receive what? Wow. Wages is money, salary. Anytime you get involved in evangelism, in the work of God, he will pay you. I pray for you. May you receive your payment. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, he who reaps, receive wages and gather fruit for life eternal. And both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. You will no longer be sorrowful. I say you will no longer be sorrowful. I say you will no longer be sorrowful. Let's open our Bible to Revelation 22 verse 12. He said, behold, I'm coming quickly. Somebody said, Christ is coming. This coming quickly here is not really talking about the rapture here. It may mean that, but what he's saying here is that you may be, it may be that you are serving me and you don't have anything to show. He said, I'm coming quickly. Somebody said, Christ is coming quickly. He said, my reward is with me. To do what? To give everyone. Can you put your name there? <laughs> To give Ayo. <laughs> Can you put your name there? To give, to give, put your name there. According to his. He will give to every man. Somebody say, He will give to every man. And when God says, I will give to every man, He has the capacity to give to every man. I don't know what you are looking for. In this harvest time, you will find it in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you have lost. But as you are serving Christ, as you are serving the master, you will find these things in this month of September that we are going into in the name of Jesus Christ. It is harvest time. Somebody say, it is harvest time. So three things that I don't want you to forget. I said, the harvest is ready. Somebody say, the harvest is ready. Number two, the laborers are? The laborers are few. So we will now say, God make me a laborer. Amen. Because if we have all of you as laborers, the work is done. <laughs> Somebody said the work is done. Can you imagine all of us, we just go out and bring one, one souls. Done. We have done the work. We have done the work for the year. Amen. Amen. So easy. The assignment he has committed into our care. So, number two, the laborers are few. Number three, reward for laborers. Somebody said reward for laborers. I shall be rewarded. Can you shout that? Somebody say, I shall be rewarded. So it's time to take our communion. Let's be on our feet as we partake of the communion tonight. This is the communion of strength. So I can go out, I can go and reap on the harvest field. I can go and bring the souls into the fold. Let's be on our feet. I begin to pray and say, Father, as I partake of the communion tonight, I receive strength, I receive power, I receive the anointing to go out and reap the harvest for you in the name of Jesus. Father, as I partake of the communion tonight, I receive strength to be a laborer, a laborer for you, a volunteer for Jesus, one that will serve Jesus. Father, I receive, I receive, I receive as I partake of the communion tonight. Father, I receive strength to be a laborer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I partake of the communion tonight, I receive strength to be a laborer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as I partake of the communion tonight, I receive strength to be a laborer to go and bring souls into your kingdom. As I partake of the communion tonight, Whatever is sick in my body, they are flushed out in the name of Jesus. Whatever is not planted in my system by the blood of Jesus, let them be flushed out. Whatever sickness that is trying to, to brood in my body, by the communion of tonight, I command them flushed out. Every activity of Satan against my body, against my life, against my system, I command them taken out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless the communion table tonight. And I decree that the flesh is flesh indeed. The blood is blood indeed. 
whatever is wrong with the system with the body of your children by the communion of tonight I command them to be put right in the name of Jesus Christ let every sickness be healed tonight let every weakness of the flesh of the mind of the spirit let them be converted to supernatural strength in the name of Jesus Christ whatever is missing in every life I command that they are found by the communion of tonight in the name of Jesus Christ by the communion of tonight the almighty God will favor you you become a supernatural entity in the name of Jesus Christ by the communion of tonight you will no longer be ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ it is done in Jesus' name. Father, as we eat, we eat unto life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Yes. So let's take one more. And let's wait. Ignite, we sing some song. And then I will guide us. Verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke the bread. And he
same manner he took the cup when he has up saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as you drink in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show the lost death till he comes let's drink together Amen. let's begin to pray that I will have what to show. I will not eat in vain. I will not drink in vain. Evidence. I receive my evidence. I receive my proof. I carry my evidence. I receive my testimonies. I will not drink this bread and drink this cup in vain. Because I will have something to show. I will be a masterpiece. I will have evidence to show. My deliverance will be clear for all to see. My healing will be clear for all to see. Whatever is eating my flesh, devouring my body, whatever they have, everything growing in my system, wanting to suck life out of me by the communion of tonight, be flushed out in the name of Jesus. I will have what to show. I will receive my evidence. What I'm looking for, they are found. I have my testimony. I have my proof. I have my evidence. I will not eat in vain. I will not drink in vain. I eat unto life. No more death in my body. No more sickness. No more disease. Whatever is not planted that is growing in my body, I command you be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are, every weakness, every paralysis, every, every sickness, every disease, every kidney failure, heart failure, hole in the heart, stone in the body, I command you be flushed out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I carry my testimony. I carry my miracle. Whatever I'm looking for, every brokenness in the heart, Father, mend my heart. Whatever I have lost because of my service to the Master, Father, I command, let the years that the canker wall, that the caterpillars have eaten, let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. I give you praise and I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I can see. Sister, sister, I can hear. Sister, sister. Lord, it's your grace all my days. I will sing your praise. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come. And we thank you for all that you have done on the cross for us. As we partake tonight, we receive 
healing in our bodies. We receive all the promises of the cross for us. We pray, Father, for Pastor, that you continue to bless him, that you continue to be with him, increase everything concerning him, anointing, Holy Spirit power, blessing overflow upon him, as well as Pastor Basola and the children. Cover them with the blood of Jesus and remember them, Father, in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you praise. As we, as we all return home tonight, cover us, Lord, with your blood and we continue, Lord, to, and I pray, Father, that you continue to bless your people. We give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us um, say our confession. One, two. The lines have fallen together for me in very pleasant places. Surely, I have an enviable inheritance. Indeed, I have been divinely remembered. My place at the top in life and destiny has been reserved. No more tears and no more sorrows. My August of divine remembrance has finally come. Amen. Let us say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all and see you on Sunday.